what's going on guys so welcome back to another mortal Kombat video so in this video i thought we could just go over a tier list and just see be just a general consensus of what uh i think the tiers are right now and i'm gonna be honest like um i still think it's too early to do these kind of tier lists because like the game's only been out for probably to uh about two weeks a little over two weeks since if you get the premium in the collective edition you had it from the 14th but if you didn't you got it you had it from the 19th so i'm gonna be honest like i don't feel like there's any bad characters in the game so i didn't really put a c or d or, or f tier i just put um lowest tier b and um not sure for characters that i haven't really played too much with in the um, actual game because like right now my my two mains right now are ashra and kung lao if you haven't told been able to tell through my videos but there are other characters i'm going to mess around with too because like i had i play a little bit of lee may and i play a little bit of sindel i'm still working on sindel she's a lot harder because just because i'm trying to get down her combos or to get damage is kind of difficult but anyways i'm i'm talking a little bit too much about other stuff so i just thought we'd do a tier list today and just give you my opinion on the landscape of it because like all i've done is play mortal kombat the combat league and then occasionally i'll jump into um the casual mode if my wi-fi isn't like uh too good so with without further ado we can just jump right into the tier list so starting off with luke kane um in the beta luke kane was one of my mains and i do plan eventually plan on using lou uh i'm not sure where he falls in the state of the game yet because like i've seen certain people talk about luke kane as being a really good character so i'm like in between the s and a tier with him um I'm not, I'm not gonna put him in top five because I don't think he's top five yet. So if anything, like I feel comfortable enough to put him in S tier, just because I feel like Luke King could be really um, his pressure game is like really strong in this game. Um, I don't want to put him in A plus because I feel like third tier for Lou just it just sounds crazy to me. But um, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll keep him in S tier for now, and then as the the tier list goes along, we'll see where. Actually, I'm gonna put him in A plus. I'll put him in A plus right now. Cause I'm not 100% sure on his um how in depth he is. I haven't really seen that many uh, Luke Kanes. So I'm gonna be honest. Like this list is probably gonna be based on like Combat League and what I've seen so far, um and what I've had to deal with and how I feel about the character as a whole right now. And right now I think A plus because I've only run into like maybe one or two Luke Kanes. So moving on, we're Sub Zero. I'm putting him in B. I'm not even gonna lie, Sub Zero is really bad now. Like they nerfed him compared to the um the beta. Sub Zero is not. I, I'm not gonna say he's not playable, but like I don't struggle with him no matter what character I'm using uh, I feel like they need to do something. They need to um, mess around with Sub-Zero a little bit I feel like he's underwhelming uh, Upon release for the game and it's kind of sad because I love Sub-Zero and I think he's a really good character And I just don't I don't like the way he plays right now But I'm sure as the game goes along they'll don't mess around with him trying to get him and buff him a little bit because his damage is, is not good at all and I've, I've only seen, like I said, I've only seen like one Sub Zero, if I'm being honest. Scorpion. Um, where do I put Scorpion? Have I struggled with Scorpion? Not really. Uh, Scorpion's pretty easy to read. Um, I know there's some Scorpions that are really good, and maybe it's because I'm like, I think right now I'm champion on, on in Combat League right now. From basically like when I'm not working, I try and come on and play games. But most of the time I'm at work, so I don't play as much as the other content creators. So. In my opinion, for now, I'm gonna put him. I'll put him above Luke Kane, just below S tier. I feel like he. I feel like honestly, I feel like he could be S tier with the right um, cameo. But like, this is not based off cameo. This is just based off of the character itself. Then we have Katana. I haven't run into a Katana in Combo League. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's another one I feel like could need um, needs a, uh, some a rework. Well, not even a rework, but like a buff on her damage. Cause I feel like Katana's always been like a staple since like um, Mortal Kombat Nine. Like Katana, they've always, people have always played like, a lot of Katana. Like one of my buddies is a Katana main. Sorry about that. But one of my buddies is a Katana main, and like the damage output for Katana right now, I feel like it could use some work. Uh, but I don't feel like she's useless. I'll put her. I'll put her above Liu Kang. Johnny Cage S tier. Not even gonna, not even gonna talk. I, I honestly feel like putting him in top five. I think we might put him in top five. We'll put him in top five. Okay, Kenji, another one, top five. Not even. Do I even have to talk about why he's top five? He's just ridiculous. Kung Lao. I will not put Kung Lao in top five. However, this list is based on my opinion. I think Kung Lao could be S tier. Just because of the combos that Kung Lao is able to, to push out with the maximum damage. Um, 
like i I don't know. I've seen some Kulan combos that could do 480 and, and above. So I feel like that's good. But like, if we're talking about overall kit, he has an overhead. No, I won't put him in S tier. I put him as much as I want to. I feel like he could be S tier, but I'm not. I'm not gonna put that right now because as much as I love Kulan, he's not. He's low. He doesn't have a low. He doesn't have a good low game. He has an overhead, but the overhead doesn't really combo into anything um unless you do the grab well i mean it has you can combo the special moves but you have to be the the time frame to do it is very very small like there are ways you can get around it uh but he has a really good mix-up game like his lows he has like two different ways to do low attacks and two different ways to do overhead attacks um because his back his, what you call it his back uh three three is a sweep it's a mid to sweep and then he has a back uh one a back one four which is also a, it's like a little jab sweep and then like his two overheads he has the one where he uses the um the the hat and then the second one which is a back a b where he does a roll and then actually he has three overheads he has the, and then he has the um if you just tap um three he does like a double overhead so i think uh i want to put him in s tier man i want to put him in s i think i'm gonna put him in s i think i'll put him in s because like if we're not just talking about um combos like that mix-up game is pretty gross and then if you have kun lao cameo like that even pushes him even further and like i said we're not taking the cameo into, into um consideration for the character because i'm not gonna lie you don't even need a cameo with kun lao kun lao's damage scaling is crazy he pulls out like um he pulls without a cameo you could pull like 430 or 440 on a, a two bar combo like that's insane for just a regular character and just to add the and this is not i don't use serena cameos serena cameos i don't use them uh i feel like you can get better utility out of the other cameos so like kun lao is like one of, one of the only characters that i've played so far that i feel like doesn't need a cameo to really bring out his max damage like you Jax, don't get me wrong Jax brings out that crazy 500 plus combo damage but you don't need it like you don't need a cameo to make kun lao good so you can pretty much play with any cameo and be good with kun lao so i'm gonna put him in s tier like i said this is my opinion based on like one of the, char the characters i play and i know a lot about and i'm gonna put out a guide for kun lao probably like next week sometime um whenever i have some time i'm gonna do that melina um i've seen a lot of I i'm put i'll put melina in uh, in top five right do i put him in top five Raiden. one no I'm, I'm gonna put her in s tier i might put her i'll put her above kun lao though i'll put her above kun lao <laughs> just because her mix-up game is pretty crazy and she can combo from anywhere on the map her teleport is insane so that's the reason for that i'm gonna put Raiden in top five Raiden is a top five character like i don't even have to go into detail why and say radiance is busted rain i don't know i'm not sure about rain i don't i don't fight rains and like i know i don't know his damage potential or anything like that because i don't see nobody play rain and i don't play rain so i'm gonna do some more testing because eventually i'll make another tier list once i know more about this roster and i played the other characters but for now i'm gonna put rain in and, I, and i'm not sure then you have smoke i'm, I'm not gonna lie to you i'm putting smoke in a tier um i, I won't put him above blue do I put him off Katana? I think Katana's lower than Lou. Let's do it like that. Um, he has too many weaknesses. Smoke. I feel like you have to do a lot to get damage with Smoke. And then on top of that, like his his teleports are so they're easy to read. Like, and if you get blocked on, you get fully punished. I don't think Smoke's very like as good as like we thought he was gonna be. Um, I think. And like this could be like i don't i've played against so many smokes and i haven't struggled with them maybe the first time i fought a smoke because i didn't know his combos but after that like once i learned how to block and to punish him like he's super easy to fight like i have multiple videos on my channel where i just fight smoke and just beat the hell out of them so like i don't i don't see smoke as a threat but i don't think he's b tier i think he's a i think he's a plus he might be yeah i'll put it i'll put smoke right here a plus here because i feel like he could be s tier with a little bit of a uh, buffs so i'm gonna put him there in front of S scorpion i feel like he's more of a than scorpion is and i thought like one good sc smoke player that 
really made the character stand out for me and i almost put him in s tier but i feel like he's right now it's, it's good for him to be an a tier because like he had like even sonic fox says he's mid tier so i'm gonna wait on that and like i said this list is really early and it's just my opinion based on combat league and what i've seen lee may um I love Lee Mei in this game. Lee Mei is so good. She has a really good mixture of a uh, of a uh, projectiles and being able to combo into them, like pushing. Like you can get fifty percent damage off a of down uh, off a of D two. Like she has, she's really good. So I'm gonna put her behind Smoke. I think that's a really good list for her. Until like more is known about the roster, I think I'm I'm hesitant about putting these two characters into S tier. Braca, I. What, what what are we talking about? Like Brock is A tier, bro. Honestly, Brock is probably ahead of everybody here. If I had to make a list, it's probably gonna go like this. Brock is probably gonna be second best character. Uh, maybe third. Raiden's too good to be put in second. Like right now, that's the list of characters I have for um S tier. I don't know enough about Tanya. I don't see Tanya being used that much, so I'm not gonna put her any lower than that. Um. Garrus is S tier, depending on who is using him. If it's Tweety or like a really good player, I feel like they can use some Garrus to his ultimate potential, but I don't see too many people um able to to use Garrus to his full um his his full potential. Cause I, I fought like a Garrus a, a few Garruses yesterday in my stream and I didn't feel threatened. But then again I had Ashra, so that's probably why. Um Reptile. I haven't seen any good reptiles. Like it's very hard for me to say, and I haven't practiced with him. I haven't practiced with him at all. Like where would I put reptile? He's not. He's not there. He's not B tier for me. I don't think anyone else is probably gonna be B tier. I think I'll put reptile A. Um, I put him at the bottom of A. Actually, I'm gonna. I don't know. I don't know because I, I can't I can't just put him in there and then like I don't have any concrete evidence of why I'm putting it at a minus like I, I want to I might do some experimenting with reptile just to kind of really see because I haven't really I've seen like two reptiles but like they just spam the teleport like that teleport of a miscreant when he slams down like they don't really do nothing they haven't really done nothing. So I can't say for sure havoc um he's a tier I don't think he's like a spe he's that, that special unless you have the right person playing Havoc. Like, I feel like the um, Havoc isn't that dangerous to me, in my opinion. But I haven't really played a lot against a lot of uh really good um Havoc players. This, this list doesn't have Rico. Interesting. That's weird. Why wouldn't they have Rico in here? Um. Okay, so we're just gonna have to bypass that for now. But I guess we'll use Quan Chi's thing for Rico. Like either way, Rico would be probably probably A tier for me. Not S. Astra, I'm gonna put her in top five. Uh in my opinion, Astra's like she's super busted. Like she can get combos anywhere on the map. It doesn't matter where you if you try and run, she can lunge and then put you in a forty percent combo. If um you're blocking too low she has a jump overhead that she can combo into oh you're blocking low you don't want to get hit with a jump overhead all right you got into it you got you got her b you got her uh forward uh her forward four y uh, um her forward four two move which is a basically it's a, um it's a i think it's a mid into a, a, a overhead and then oh she has a, a um one of those that i don't know what the hell they call it. it's like a, some kind of stun where they slowly fall like Astra, and then she's not even, that's not even mentioning her projectile game. Her projectile game is nuts. Like her regular light projectiles cover the entire screen. You can't jump over them. If you try and jump it, you're going to get hit. Then if you go into her black form, she has a low energy that um is super fast too. And then on top of that, it gives you that, um, that black aura. And you don't want to have any of those auras on you when you're fighting Astra. Because I'm going to be honest, like... Her damage already without the aura like is 440 plus like my highest combo i have without using um any uh any of the the purple aura is 488 is my my two bar and then my my one bar is 440 440 444 around there and her three bar combo is like 500 and then if you add the um the the, the purple debuff 
if she she does her full three bar combo that's 542 damage like that is not to be trifled with like Ashra is so good like I have opponents that try and run for me and I'll lunge into them and then I attack them and then like she has felt she can harass people like she can harass people in the low poke game she can harass people in the um in the range game like you think you have her you have her clear nope her sword so goes her uppercut is really nasty her um her like back uh two is it's a nasty little anti-air that she can fully combo into this is the thing Ashura can combo you at any with any attack for 40 plus damage like that is crazy to have the, like yo you can't make any mistakes with Ashura because if, if you make one mistake Ashura is punishing you for almost half your health so yeah I think she's S tier and like people are gonna argue with that um not S tier but I think she's top five people are gonna argue with that and that's fine you could argue with that but like I feel like there's not a lot of characters that have that ability they have the ability to punish you anywhere on the on the map for forty percent outside of um Kenshi, Raiden, and then uh uh Baraka. Like I feel like Johnny Cage can too, but I feel like Johnny Cage isn't as high up on the top five as the rest of them. At first I was gonna put him above Asher, but I don't think he's above Ashra. Because um yeah, his rushdown game is good, but he has no projectiles. Um these characters all have pretty good projectiles like he has that little where he could throw his um his uh his puppet out he's just nasty raiden has a little electricity and then brock is super fast projectile game is pretty good and then asher is just a menace she's a menace like honestly in my opinion i think asher is a menace like i don't fear raiden players at all when i'm playing as asher like i don't i really don't lose against raiden when i play asher because asher just has so much stuff she can do whereas raiden relies a lot on the low her his low ba uh um th three or uh, four three or uh, four of um combo string where he just low poking you and then he has an overhead but like raiden's i feel like his moves are very easy to read whereas astra just has so much stuff she can do to really just mess with your head and get you to, to mess up and then her grab i don't know if it's just me but her grab animation is super fast but anyways that's enough talking about astra that's what that's those are the reasons why i feel like she is a top five potential but like i said this is my opinion like i'm sure a lot of people won't agree with that but a lot of the creators that I, I um I watch all say that she's S tier, so at least S tier. So if she's not top five, she's definitely S tier at least. Okay, Sindel. I want to put her at S, but I don't think I can, just because the skill gap for Sindel is very. It's her to do her moves are very hard. Like you have to have um. You can't button mash with Sindel. Like you have to be very articulate with the, with, her, with her combos because with Sindel she has um she has like the freaking uh in order to do any good combos you have to do her back to into enhanced fireball then um then you have to levitate in the air then you pop down a Y forward uh a three a three oh no forward four three and then you and then you have to do, uh, get him in the air and then levitate in the air and then pause and then do another attack like bro it, it, she's such a hard character i feel like for a lot of the casual players so i'm not gonna put her in s i'll probably put her in a a plus because like if you can get her um if you can get used to her combos and like honestly i feel like anybody can get good with the combos it's just the amount of uh, the amount of time you put into each of these characters you know what i mean um then we have shao khan i don't know i haven't seen any shao khan players which is super weird because i thought with shao khan being oh I keep, my bad not Shao Kahn General Shao I haven't seen any General Shao players at all and that's crazy to me because I thought it was him being in the game that you know he was going to be there so okay so for the rest of these we're just going to put them into I don't know because obviously they're not out I'm going to use Quan Chi as a holder for Rico or Raiko however you want to say it so for quote unquote Raiko um do I know is he beat here no I don't think he's B tier. I think he, I think he's between A and S. I think he's in one of these tiers. I've seen some really good Ricos. Rico is really good in this game. I don't know if I put him in S tier though. I probably put him ahead of all these characters. Alina's S tier, S tier, S tier. Um, I don't think Lucane's S tier. But I think in the future he could be S tier. I think we may. I'm, I'm tempted to put her in S tier. Yeah, they're gonna put her in S here. Then um 
Is there anybody else? I feel like no one's on the on the, the same level as re, as um Sub Zero. Sub Zero needs a rework. He needs to be buffed again or whatever they took away from him. They need to give back because I feel like he doesn't belong in this field. Um, Rain, do I? No, I'm not gonna put him there. I'm gonna keep him there. Okay, so that's gonna be the the, the tier list thus far. Mind you, it's only been the first two weeks of the game, so it's not much of a tier list because we're just going off of our, basically our own preferences and like what we've seen in combat league for this tier list. Like I said, I think Kenshi, Raiden, Baraka, and and um, Johnny Cage are automatically um, top five in everyone's thing. I think the fifth um, the fifth spot is gonna be constantly rotated. Like I can see Melina being there and certain people's list. I can see um, Smoke being in there even though i don't think he's that high uh more of those anyone that has smoke in the top five really is just probably just loves the character and just wants to put him there um i could potentially see kun lao being a top five honestly like I'm, i was tempted to put him there but i'm not gonna be that's in my own bias because i think kun lao is just really really good and and when i put up the top the, the, the guide for kun lao you'll see what i mean he's just there's so much stuff you can do with his kit like he's such a good character that people don't i don't think people understand how good he is yet and i feel like as the game goes along people will start seeing that kun lao's uh, different abilities makes him really a pain in the ass but anyways guys that's gonna do it for this video i just wanted to make a tier list uh for the first two weeks of the game and just give you guys kind of my uh, overall opinion on the characters right now so without further ado i'll see you guys in the next one and hope you guys have a good rest of your uh what's today wednesday i'm out peace